Diego's ready to go here in the early going. Here we go. I want to point out, it's important to mesh with your partner in a tag match. You don't necessarily have to like them, but if you're not on the same page, you're probably going to lose. Nobody can hold a candle to me in the APA, but I expect this tag team match to be decent at least. Regardless, I know this Indianapolis crowd has waited long enough. They can't wait to see how this one unfolds. What a story this man Dash Wilder has. Where do you think he should go from here? It's a tag team match, so the parts are sometimes greater than the whole. What can we expect here? He's looking good right now, Michael. If he can keep the action to his half of the ring, these guys have a heck of a chance. Given the ability of his team, I'd expect him to be able to see a mistake, exploit it, and make his opponents pay the price, and that price is defeat. no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Railing it off balance from the drop toe hold. Yeah, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Diego not looking good here, and you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. Great point, John. And he doesn't seem too phased at this point. He's starting to stumble here. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Michael, we're going to see what this guy is made of. Oh, it's been a great match up to this point, and this could really go either way. Surprise. Right, this guy's resilient. He's not even beat down yet. Out of the ring. Now what's going to happen? Two. Three. And a well-timed delivery by Fernando. Nice move there, Fernando. out of trouble there and he's heading back in I can't blame him keep your eye on this one yeah this should be good oh geez knocked into next week he doesn't want to do this outside the ring well I don't blame him He's starting to show signs of fatigue, and you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. He got him! And he gets the tag. We got a cover. Insult to potential injury there. Let's just hope Diego's stamina can hold up. And wow, they're able to get out of the way. You don't see that move every day. Oh, look at this. Diego doing a great job of turning that around. And that may turn the match around. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this time. What a match.
reversed it. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Here we go for the win. Like the guy don't two. You're watching Raw, the longest running weekly episodic television program in history. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Diego getting into it and striking with some power here. Yeah, he can hit harder than he looks. Whoa! Don't get up! Boy, he was able to reverse and get out of that. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Oh, Dan Swider's got him out in the air. And tagged into Scott Dawson. Here's the cover for the win. One, two, three. Scott Dawson has done it. Here are your winners, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, The Revival. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I, we have the best seats in the house. I strongly suggest Diego go back and watch this match. There's plenty that can be learned from this loss. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.